we're going to be covering tailgating. I'll be talking about um, what sort of things happen behind you, why they try and tailgate you, and I'll be giving some tips and advice on that will help you to um, control the situation. So we're just talking about um, tailgating today. So I'll just get going because I'm going to the next lesson. So this is aimed at um, new learner drivers and new drivers are on their own for the first time or first few times. I'll just get out this roundabout. So Tailgating, basically, that's someone who's right behind you, close up behind the car, which is dangerous. Um, you, you'll, you'll come across it with your instructor. I'll just hold back and get through. You'll come across it with your instructor. Uh, the instructor will explain to you that at that point you're probably doing nothing wrong, it's just the, uh, the car behind you just being a bit too close. So, things you to consider is um, the speed limit and what's a reasonable speed and you've got to remember things like that so know your speed limits that's the first thing because uh, that car behind you is close it might be close because you, you don't know that you're going that slow you don't realize speed limits changed so we're driving in um, I, I thought it was 30 that's in there that's what I was saying. we're driving in, in a 40 zone at the moment I saw through me and that, that sign being sideways. I knew it was 40 and it, and it said 30. Anyway, going back to this. So we're driving in the 40 zone, but you can't always do 40 because of the fact that um, there's hazards ahead of you or the traffic ahead of you is going at a, a speed that's safe for them. So I'm not pressurizing that truck because what's the point? It's, it's silly. Um, and people pressurize you behind you to want you to, they want you to go faster. They want you to do um, a faster speed that they want to do. Um, and it might be they want to do a speed that's going to break the speed limit, but don't fall into that habit of doing that. So if, if you're doing like I'm doing, I'm building my speed back up now, I'm doing 30, 35, I'm not going to go 40 because there's, there's little roundabouts, so I'm slowing down for them. Um, so you just got to build your speed up that safe. And you can see ahead of me, speed limit's going back up to 30, so I'm not going to be doing that. Now, I didn't get a chance to go up to a reasonable speed, which would be 40, because of the traffic or the road hazards ahead of me. So I've just got to do reasonable speed, and that's what you've got to keep remembering yourself, that when you're driving along, is if you've got the speed limit, now I'm doing 27-ish, I'm sure the dash can prove that-ish, give or take, and... Um, it's a reasonable speed for a gear, not wrong with that. But there could be a car behind me, right out the back, flashing me, waving me, saying, faster, 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 you're going too slow. I'm doing nothing wrong, and that's what you've got to remember. Don't fall into that habit of, I've got to go, I've got to go faster, because that car behind me is pressurising me to go faster, and I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Well, you're not doing anything wrong. A reasonable speed is not always the maximum speed, and it all depends on the hazards that are ahead of you. So at the moment it's fairly clear. I'm doing on my speed which it says 29. So that's reasonable per gear. If if it was bends or sharp bends, I'd be slowing down from park cars, I'll be slowing down from. And the car ahead of you might not know that. So it's just keeping things under control and uh, knowing that you're doing nothing wrong with your speeds. You're doing appropriate speeds. Now, when they are behind you, so let's work on this one. I'll just get through this roundabout first. So I'm just using, I'm not using my handbrake, I'm using gas and clutch holding it on a hill. So it's quite a nice little trick to have. Which I'm sure you'll get to when you're learning and you get better at your skills. So let's go back to this tailgating then. So, so you're doing a reasonable speed, you just, you know, for that speed limit. So we're still in the 30 zone, um, I'm doing 29. But at the moment it's clear and straight. But as it gets more hazards, I'll slow down a bit more in anticipation of the hazard and the car behind is pressurising you. Now what you've got to remember is, if there's a car behind your tailgate and you do nothing wrong, one thing is going to happen, it's going to, they're going to try and overtake you. It might be a man or a woman. Um, I've seen lots of women tailgating in the past, so you can't say it's just men, it's, got, it's both. Um, so you, you've got to say to yourself, 
I'm expecting to upset me, so I keep an eye on the traffic ahead of me because I don't want to drive into anyone. I don't want to run someone over by getting distracted what's behind me. And do a little bit more checking of the the side mirror, the rear view mirror, than you would possibly do normally, just glances. And to keep an eye on what's ahead of you. So I've got a mini roundabout. I'm slowing down slowly as I get towards it because I'm expecting a car on my right to pull out. Now, you've got to also remember that car behind who's flashing you or waving you on is going to try and overtake you when they can. So if they see an opportunity that they think is good enough, it might be dangerous for us. So we've got to anticipate the fact that they're going to overtake you in some silly places, then it's not a surprise then. But if you are slowing down, just remind yourself, I don't want to slow down hard because that car behind me might drive into me. So I'm slowing down anticipation of the hazards so that the car behind me has got to slow down also. So you're on the brake early and soft and letting them know that you're slowing down. And if they wave and flash you, then that's up to them, isn't it? But don't get intimidated by it because you're doing nothing wrong. And that's what you've got to keep reminding yourself. I've done nothing wrong. Um, I'm just doing what I'm supposed to be doing, which is driving safely. And if they want to try and overtake me when it's dangerous, then that's their choice. But I'm not going to fall into that category of being a, a silly driver. I'm going to use what's, what's safe. So I'm hoping um, it's reassuring you, this quick video on, on tailgating. And uh, if you have got a dash cam, by the way, um, and you're in this sort of incident, then you can also pass it on to the to the police. If they're dangerous, if they're doing careless driving, and they're involved in an accident, the police will want to know what's caused it. So if you've got a dash cam to prove that that car behind has gone into the back of you because because they've been that close, I'll just let him go because she's cutting across the, the junction. Then um, it's not your fault. So good luck with your driving, um, and remember these situations they're not that often you know they're not they're not that often so don't worry about them and good luck with your driving lessons and um, if you are on your own and it's for the uh, first few times and you're just wondering god is it my fault then just remember reasonable speeds know the speed limit and if there's someone behind you expecting to overtake you and the other thing also to think about is that if you're slowing down slow down early and soft not hard not hard and late okay good luck and be safe on the roads